Hey, welcome to Northumberland Zoo on YouTube. My name is Maxine and I work here. On today's video, we're gonna be having a deep dive into our domestic donkeys here at the zoo. We've got all kinds of donkeys, giant donkeys, dinky donkeys, and normal donkeys. Uh, so we've had it be requested before on the channel. So I think it'd be really cool for you guys to get up close and meet them. So Lucy has gone over to the barn to meet with some of our domestic keepers and get to know these gentle giants a little bit more closely. <laughs> Potty donkey. So he is a French breed and that's why they are absolutely humongous and you don't see them very often. They are the second largest donkey breed in the world because they are beaten by the, the mammoth donkey which is a lot taller and they don't have as much hair. So I'm just giving Jazz a little bit of a groom because he loves to have a roll and you can see he's got a lot of straw all over him. So what we do is we give him a nice little brush and it gets all of that out because he has to look really good. But also you can see all the dust coming from his body as well. Because donkeys, they love to have a good roll, but they really enjoy being groomed as well. We groom them every single day, just because with these guys, they've got really long hair. So um, it does naturally dreadlock and we just want to make sure that they don't have too many masks. Because you can imagine that's quite uncomfortable for them as well. So it just takes, it can take up to half an hour just to groom them. Sometimes they're really bad if it's been raining. It just mats a lot easier, but also if they're together, they do like to bite um, each other and play around a little bit. And all their slaver just clumps it all together. So we want to just brush all that out. A nice little groom, he has to get everywhere because he's got loads of long hair under the bellies. You can see even on his little armpits as well, he's quite gray. <laughs> so he's got loads of colors going on. Tell you what, from this angle, his head is like the same size as you. <laughs> is that actually? Well, if he stands up straight, they are taller, but they're like ears. I can't get you both in frame. The size of my arms. They're so big. Let's <laughs> check just the way it is. <laughs> With these guys, we've got this really good brush uh, with Jazz. It's pretty easy because he's got quite straight hair. So I'd say Jazz is more well behaved, but he does need a lot of reassurance when you're doing stuff. Is it quite nice because oh, obviously, oh <laughs> oops. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, he's so, you're so cute, are Obviously with some of the animals here, you can't really, um, <laughs> Um, you can't touch and cuddle a lot of the animals, but with these two, you can literally just hug them with them. So it's really nice to give them a good cuddle. And it makes you happy as well if you can give big things a cuddle as well. Jet and the easiest way to tell them apart is Jazz has got very nice straight hair. Whereas if you have a little bit of a close up and look at Jet, he's quite frizzy but he's also really curly as well. He is the most confident one out of both of them. Jet's definitely the more playful one and he's most confident with the keepers as well. He does like to hold things in his mouth, so you'll see that he'll pick up any like grooming tools and um, he'll pick up any head collars and toys as well. They love playing with each other and um, they'll just hold rope toys together and run around the paddocks. They do have a bit of a play as well where they'll just run around biting each other and he's been really helpful here. <laughs> he's just being playful, well. he just wants to hold something at the moment but obviously if, you've, if he's got a hold of some of his clothing or something we do um, just try and take it off him. That's why we encourage using toys rather than our tools because as you can see it's 
it's not very helpful and it's not very good but he does like to just hold things in his mouth <laughs> and then he'll throw them about <laughs> right now <laughs> oh you're helping <laughs> so when we have a look at them we can just lift their lips up and you can see their teeth and tongue Oh, big <laughs> but because he's so big, he's got a lot of lips. So if I just do that, you can see how big his lips are. So it might look quite daunting that I've got my hands just in his mouth, but I'm nowhere near his teeth. But, oh. but they do get dental checks as well, where somebody will come out and have a look at their teeth and they'll put this thing inside. Oh, hello. Is it your turn? His turn. <laughs> um, uh, the, where they'll put something in their mouth so they can open it wide and then have a look just to make sure that everything's all okay in there. Don't do that. It's just because we, we know what we're doing and then we've been doing it for so long we know how to get it and stuff. So do not recommend putting your hands in their mouths. <laughs> She's one of our oldest animals at the zoo, as well as our oldest donkey. Uh, she's about 28. Um, so Gemini here was a, a rescue from a, um, basically a beach donkey. That's what she used to do in a past life. Um, but we do give her a little bit more loving than anybody else as well. Um, she's a little bit of a softie. Um, but with that kind of comes with a lot more care as well. So because she's a little bit older, we have to look at um, teeth health and hoof health. Um, with Gemini, because she does feel a little bit more stiff on some days, we do have to be quite careful. She's quite sassy, so sometimes if we go and pick up her front feet, she does try and turn to tell us, good girl. So we just take it nice and slow with her. Um, so it's a bit unconventional when I turn this way, uh, but I don't want to get a bite on the bum, so <laughs> this is why I do it this direction. Good girl. So she's here for a nice happy retirement home. She just gets to do exactly what she wants. Uh, same again with the back feet. She's sometimes a little bit... <laughs> Little bit of a princess, good girl. Ready, this one? <laughs> so we, <laughs> we yeah. try and get them ready, so I'm not going to force her to do something she doesn't want to do. We'll see again. Good girl, this one? Good girl. So she will have a little bit of a kick. I'm not holding tight at all, I'm just giving her time to settle that leg. And I'm holding all of the weight and not pulling at all. She hasn't literally got anything in here really, we're just um, giving it a little bit of a clean. That's it. All the hooves will degrade a little bit quicker. Um, so she has a few more chips than the other donkeys will at a, a kind of younger age. Um, but the farrier has spoken to us and the vets have spoken to us and said it's quite normal. It's just how we manage it. So as long as we're still checking the feet regularly. Up. Up. Good girl. And um, that's how we can kind of combat it. So she does have a few stones in this one. Um, we're basically looking for the line around. So this front one particularly is pretty bad. Um, so got a few stones here, but she has quite a bit of a crack here. Uh, we mainly look for heat in the hooves, which she doesn't have at the moment, um, so that's good. Um, and if there's ever any issues, um, we can purple spray to dry them out a little bit more. Again, we don't want to go too hard, so we don't want to hurt her anyway. So it's just a nice check, really, and that's good for that one. This one, sometimes she likes to pull the wool as well, so depending on who picks her hooves, she will kind of test the waters a bit. And um, sometimes if she kicks out on the first couple, she assumes she's just going to get left alone. Good girl. Uh, but sometimes, again, that sass comes into play. Uh, we don't know whether it's uh, she's got a little bit of back pain or whether it's just because she doesn't want her feet to be picked. Um, we also give her a nice big meal at the end as well. So we'll um, pop that in for her. <laughs> So she will cry and cry until she gets her dinner. Uh, again, we were saying that she's a little bit older, so we have to change up a little bit what we offer. So we've just soaked some of the pony nuts for her. Look at this. Everyone wants a bit of Gemini's dinner. Uh, so Emma's a little bit more nervous than the rest of the donkeys. Um, she's quite food motivated as well, but it just takes her a little bit of time to trust people. Where she came from, they didn't do uh, much handling, much footwork with her. Um, even grooming as well, she doesn't really like. She's she's a bit apprehensive of the brush. Good girl. <laughs> she's like, oh, no. So she just takes a little bit of time. 
Um, but since we've started the training with her, just to get her a little bit more distracted um, by doing the targeting, um, she's been much better with the farrier that comes to check their feet out. Um, and she's just a little bit more comfortable as well. Target? Yes, good girl. <laughs> yeah, if you want to start. Target? Yes, good girl. So if you just let me know if there's any resistance as well. Yeah, it's just fine. Target? Yes, good girl. I'd say probably about a year we've been doing this with her. Initially, um, we couldn't even get one foot up without her trying to kick or running away. She's um, strong too. Yeah, um, you've got to be quite careful. Obviously, they are big animals that do have quite a big kick at the end of the day. Um, so this is the rest of the group of our donkeys. So we have George, our little miniature. Let's look at the bottom. A lot of people think that he's a baby. He's not. He's actually one of the older ones of the group. Um, so he's about 12 years old and he does look quite like Emma. <laughs> Will was ruining the shot there. <laughs> um, so they both have that distinct marking across their back there as well. So Trigger and Wilbur, um, they both basically came as a pair. Um, they were previously um, rescued but just basically because of the fact that they were a wedding present. Um, it's quite bizarre but it does happen. Um, they weren't able to look after them completely so that's why they were here. <laughs> They're quite cheeky, so um, basically Wilbur and Trigger can't really be apart. They do quite like to be quite close to each other. But I would say that George is more of a ladies' man, so he doesn't really bother too much with Wilbur or Trigger. He tends to stick around with Emma and Gemini. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why Emma did come along as well, um, just to help out the fact that um, Gemini is a little bit older. We didn't want George hassling her too much, so she gets a bit of respite, but George still gets, gets a girlfriend, essentially. <laughs> Uh, but he does have little man syndrome, so he can get a little bit boisterous when it comes to the bigger donkeys. So even Jet and Jazz, you know, they're, they're, they're a lot bigger than what he is, but he doesn't really mind. He'll be there to protect the girls no matter what. So yeah, Wilbur's the, the other one of the duo, so him and Trigger do spend quite a lot of time together. Uh, Wilbur is very cheeky, shall we say, so he's always the one that gets into trouble. Uh, <laughs> that was good time. <laughs> um, and he just basically has Trigger there to egg him on uh, and get involved with. So if um, if Wilbur's been naughty, you'll find that Trigger is as well. Um, he just wants to go out and play. Uh, you know, if you try and open a gate, he's going to be the first one through the door. He doesn't care about manners. <laughs> he's being sour now because we're talking about him. <laughs> Um, again, very food motivated as well. Yeah, we do get a lot of people thinking he's pregnant. Um, we've spoken to vets about it as well in the past. Um, you know, we've changed up what he eats, but it hasn't really made a huge difference. Um, there's nothing that we've found um, like medically wrong with him. Um, it's not necessarily a weight issue that we've found. That's just kind of how, how his body sits at the side there. Um, so you can confirm that he is not pregnant? He is definitely not pregnant, <laughs> no. He's a boy. <laughs> he's a boy. <laughs> It's so cheeky today. They haven't got anything else for you, I'm afraid. It's because they're getting a bit of the limelight. Usually it's capybaras and snow leopards. They love a good <laughs> dust bath as well. It looks like he's just covered in sand from today's play in the sand paddock. It's just a nice way for them to have a little itch as well. So usually you'll see our, our boys do that. Um, not so much with the, the girls. They tend to be a little bit more reserved. Um, but you will see Gem and I do it occasionally as well, which is really nice. So Jet and Jazz, we know, take quite a lot of grooming. What about these guys? Uh, we do still try and keep on top of the grooming, but it's not as bad. You always be naughty. <laughs> You've been fed. <laughs> oh, I feel like you can't have favourites. I do feel like Gemini's got a little bit of a soft spot, but I think that's the case for everyone as well. Um, she just gets that extra little bit of attention, and the donkeys here, they're a little bit younger, so they can kind of play amongst themselves, but because she is that little bit older, even though she does play, she just likes that time alone or time with keepers as well. So we do find that we spend more time with her. Um, these guys like to play a little bit more um, with rope toys and things like that. So you'll see them play in tug of war as well. George really loves to hold um, like the jolly balls and things like that in his mouth, just run around with it. They'll try and um, fight over it as well. So it, no matter how many you put out there, they'll still have one between them. And just like Jet and Jazz as well, they'll, they'll have things that they play with.
if viewers were to choose an item off of the wish list, what do you think the donkeys would like best? Oh, I'd probably say like some sort of big like rubber ball or like rope toys. That's what they tend to go through the most, I'd say. We have in the past give things like um, rubber chickens out as well. Um, it makes a very similar noise actually to the to the donkeys um, bray. So it's probably a little bit of um, a bit of comfort in them that they can, they can hear it. We have to be really careful with those though because of the squeaker. Comforted by a rubber chicken. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed getting to meet all of our donkeys and some of them are super cheeky. And of course, if you do want to get anything for them off of our wish list, I've put the link for the wish list in the description uh, so that you can see if there's anything on there you fancy treating our naughty donkeys to. Thank you so much for watching this week. And of course, if you haven't done already, please do remember to subscribe to the Northumberland Zoo channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time when we uh, have a little look at our Shetland ponies and our alpacas. Bye.